Welcome back to Let's Play X-Wing vs. TIE Fighter with me, Get Daved. So, last time, and I'm not sure if I uploaded this one or not because I haven't done it yet and haven't decided yet, but last time, my uh, game crashed after a very terrible run on a mission. We're going to try it again from the Imperial side. I also had a failed recording attempt uh, following it again, so I really hope things work. We're going to do the attack on the Drekker again, but before we do that, we need to check one quick thing. We're looking for the Nebulon B frigate. There it is. All right, 2,560. So it's got about 4,000. Well, it's got exactly 4,080 hit points. Um, which, by my math, will take six shots. He's joking. All right. Uh, I'm gonna put on a tractor beam, even though, meh. Yeah. And advanced torpedoes have the highest payload, 150 each. I'll be able to carry four of them, so that's 600. Uh, and I'm going to be... Well, there will be six craft in total. I'm going to jump around to try getting every single one of these things to fire. I'll show you in a minute. Our objective is to drive off the frigate meteor. Let's rock and roll. I hope you can hear the music in the background. Uh, it's awesome. It's Star Wars music. All right. Alright, I do not trust my bombers, uh, at all. I just got missiled too, I might as well... Oh jeez, we got a couple incoming. Bit of suspense there, Jada jump to the next craft. And I think they're going to be focusing on the bombers now, so we should be able to get our missiles away. Yeah, okay. That's everybody who's out. Um, holy crap! I uh, forgot that I have a tractor beam. I shut it off because they're, they're somewhat useful, but not very useful. I then forgot that I have a massive boost in my speed. For some reason, that boosts your uh, laser effectiveness. That doesn't make a lot of sense to me, but it's not like it's a kinetic weapon. But you know, I'm not going to argue with the results. In my ears, I can only really hear the engine glow or engine sounds. But uh, hopefully, yeah, I really hope the music's coming through. For technical reasons, yeah, it's not coming off the CD correctly, but, you know, it could be worse. The ISO correctly. My much-loved disc not intact after all these years. Or at least not functional. I believe I mentioned this before, but the computer's really good at dodging uh, attacks from behind. So, you do have to accommodate that. That's right, you change your course. Now let's check the kills and... Uh, where are we here? F for friendlies? There we go. I forget... I forget how you actually access the enemy craft list. It's really important. That would be nice. Oh goodness, that is not what I wanted to do at all. Alright, now that we're getting a little cro closer to the Rebel Frigate, uh, getting bombarded by its lasers is becoming more and more of an issue. Uh, it also matters a lot because, although we're kind of hard to hit, um, oh jeez. Alright, we actually broke that missile lock, uh, cause... Ah, uh, collisions, everybody. I'll get you every time. Looks like my wingman was already dead, which means we focus on the director again. And it's just outside of missile range, so I might as well wait a little bit. Thank you. 
As established, um, if you target an enemy capital ship, a lot of the time they'll immediately launch a missile at you, assuming they're not doing stuff with other missiles. Um, by the way, if you're going to go for a target lock on them in any of the games in this series, as soon as you fire, uh, you should immediately change course, because in their efforts to shoot you down, they'll often take your missiles out, and uh, that's not worth it. I really hope you can hear the music. I should not have done that. I should have focused on the guy who's going to shoot the missile. Alright. When you're going up against AI craft, if they are shooting at you first in a head to head, geez. if they are shooting at you first, don't try hitting them in the head to head. That was very dangerous. Uh, wait for uh, a chance to engage in the dogfight. Just because the AI is unusually good at uh, maintaining. Ugh! It was worth it to break the missile lock. We gotta start thinning these guys out. They're giving me all sorts of grief. Alright, looks like we broke it. There's so many of them on me right now. At least two. So many. Also, we're close to the enemy frigate. That's not exactly helping things. It makes me afraid to slow... Ah, jeez. Makes me afraid to slow down. Yeah, and we went through... Yeah, my sensors are gone. This is a bad sign. It may be time. Nothing wrong with a little honorable suicide. Looks like they've taken some pretty heavy damage, which is a nice sign. If you're going head-to-head -head with a human opponent, uh, you want to engage in a weave. As a general rule, the tighter your weave, the better. Because, uh, you know, you don't want to be over-maneuvering. So something like this, and you would fire at the... It's not exactly a, best, a great weave, but that sort of an idea is what you would try for. Primary target. Their hall is damaged. Our operation has succeeded. We just won the mission, everybody. Oh, and we gotta make sure that not everybody dies. That should be relatively easy. I guess I have a little bit of power. I'll take this opportunity to show how the tractor beam works, so we'll let it charge up a little bit. So it just sort of... I don't know if you saw him stop maneuvering, but that's what it does. It could be quite nice, but uh, the power is much more useful when redirected to engines. And let's mop up, shall we? I don't remember if I adequately explained this. Uh, a lot of my commentary is scatterbrained, but uh, top left is my forward sensor. Uh, the center of it is immediately in front of my craft. Center of the top right sensor is immediately behind my craft. And then... You know, I don't think there's anything more to it. And I believe X-Wing Alliance, the brighter something is, the closer it is. But uh, in this one, it's they're only really angular sensors. There's no concept of distance, I don't think. And yes, that is a complete list of all of the craft uh, active on the Imperial side right now. as well rack up some kills. When I failed the mission, I had 19 kills, which is, well, better than I've got right now, but uh, I lost the mission because I didn't, you know, try doing the bomber's job for them. Come on. There we go. As a personal goal, I always try to evenly spray out the damage across all the targets. There we go. Oh, some X-Wings are coming in. Uh, yeah, let's let's try killing them. We'll see how it goes. It's going to be a four-on-one, I believe. Oh no, two-on-one. That's not bad. 
They're uh, super elite X-Wings, the toughest AI, but uh, in the X-Wing versus TIE Interceptor matchup, I really would take the Interceptor. X-Wings in this game aren't very good. They uh, did a few really subtle changes that were design-based, not stats-based, and it made X-Wings a lot better, but that was in X-Wing Alliance that they did all that. Okay, so this one's coming for me. He uh, is pointed at me, I'm not pointed at him, so in the head-to-head, -head, I'm not going to directly confront him. I'm just going to keep him just off-center in the front sensor, and that's the best way for approaching uh, an AI X-Wing in a bad... in a <laughs> you're-not-going-to-come-out-on-top scenario. Crap! Yeah, that was my fault. I didn't identify quickly enough. Still, though, excellent performance. Whew. It was good to come off a win. I lost two craft to collisions. I don't know if I... I knew about one. I didn't... Oh, yeah, and then I kamikaze with another one. Okay. Well, only one was an accident. Oh, good win, everybody. I doubt I could repeat that with the Rebels. Uh, yeah, just because I don't think I have the... Well, yeah, at least not on this difficulty setting. I don't think I could have done that. They just don't have the firepower. Four flight groups, the uh, Z-95s. And as a Canadian, I somewhat feel obligated to call them Z-95, but it, it's harder to say quickly. Uh, but yeah... Headhunters kind of suck at everything. They're kind of fun to play online, because in online games you don't necessarily care about the overall quality of the craft, because you typically are playing two versus two or four player free-for-all always in equal craft. You never do online um, X-Wings versus TIE Fighters, unlike the name of the game. Um, yeah, not that anyone really plays online anymore, but this game, reminiscing time, everybody, this game enjoyed uh, a really awesome community. Um, they had these events called WoW, back when WoW stood for a week of war, not World of Warcraft. And it would be one week a month where people from all the clans would get together. You would register at a site called battlestats.com, and you would have, on, you know, events where you would just, you know, fight people. And... Uh, you would then report the results to battle stats and it would track how the different clans were doing. And you know, it was it was a good time. I was in a clan. We called them squads. Um, and it was pretty fun. Uh, I didn't get a lot of girls uh, in real life, but uh, I had fun. So yeah, I was in TRA. I was actually pretty good. I've definitely rested a bit, but I don't know. That, that last fight felt pretty good anyway. Yeah, so uh, I think we'll call it a video here. I'll see you all next time on Let's Play X-Wing vs. TIE Fighter. Uh, we're probably just going to do a couple more missions and then I'll leave it at that, because this is such a modular game. So, I don't know, there's not that much... I don't know, not that much to do. The battles uh, don't really... They're not as compelling. Sorry, the battles. Here we go. They're not as compelling as the campaigns in X-Wing, TIE Fighter, or X-Wing Alliance, which... Uh, especially TIE Fighter and X-Wing Alliance, I strongly encourage you to play. And on the subject of X-Wing Alliance, there's also a patch out that updates all of the graphics, so it's actually a really sweet game all over again. Um, I strongly encourage you to check it out. It's, you know, it doesn't look cutting edge, but it looks great, and in terms of flight simulators, uh, especially in the space combat genre, this series is completely without peer. But, uh, yeah, on that note, I'll see you all next time. It was me, get daved. See you next video.